see that club. Cool. Thank you, buddy. So now we're going to do something. We're going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So I brought over one of my favorite little things. So he said he wanted to learn how to hit it farther. So this thing has one band in it and it has, it has weight stack. Okay. There's a weight stack. Love this thing. Weight stack that slides up and down. It's got this little dampener down here. Okay. For a couple, I like it for a couple reasons. One, people can't really load their hands at P3. I like it. You know, so this is for, um, you know, like John, like John, for example. Like he has a hard time getting his, the club to P3. And so now there's a resistance band, right? So the sense of how we oppose a golf swing. And you're like, what the hell does oppose a golf swing mean? Well, we deliver... We create leverage in a good golf swing. You guys grip it pretty good, okay? Little bit of, you kind of want to put the hands a little turf too far forward. You do too a little bit, okay? So we're gonna make sure the hands are kind of mid-body, not pressy forward, because when they're pressy forward, we don't really get a nice leverage place because you're already in this kind of odd spot. But if the hands are kind of more mid-body, it's easy to get the place, the club in a bit of leverage and have a sense of how we can oppose expanding momentum. Okay, so opposing expanding momentum. This is why I'm not. I'm a fan of learning how to create a radius, guys, where the club's off the ground, so you, your brain goes, "Yeah, that's a nice measure." There's a waggle, waggle, tap, tap, waggle, waggle, tap, tap, where we have a decent measure. Nothing where we're too far in reach either. There's just a there's a opportunity here for our brain to be okay with where we are. And then as I'm hitting a shot, okay. And you look at that and go, what the hell's happening there? So this is not, you know, that hard at this point, right? But it would be a good challenge for you to go from one band to two bands and then maybe to three, okay? Because I think you could do it, right? Because that's how you're going to learn to have oppose momentum. So let me show you how to do that. You'll see it differently now because the ball will get in the way and you'll, ju you'll judge the shot based on feel. So here's me, you know, getting my arms organized, aiming the face, Tap, tap, you know, tap, tap, waggle, waggle. Here's the same thing you just saw. That produces a reasonable shot. Does it look like I'm swinging really hard to do that? No. Of course not. No. Okay, because I'm not. But I'm not swinging easy either. I'm swinging sort of efficiently. So come on in here for a second. Right here's good. Hold that thing in your hands. It's meant to be a good foot or two off the ground right here. Okay, good one. So go ahead and I'm going to take this and let me get it a bit more middling on you. There you go. Okay, hold a little higher off the ground. Good. And let that weight stack pop. It'll pop easily for you. Good. And then once it pops and retracts back, see if you can calm yourself into the outside of your left foot up on your right toe. So to do that, again, you got to have a flare in your foot so you can absorb that energy that's kind of slowing down let it pop and relax wonderful wonderful so that right there for him you're next come on in okay, let me ask, you a question. ask a question all right when you swung the, the uh club, mm -hmm. the hit you hit that pop was right here okay when he swung the club the pop was right here okay yeah so now, how it expands so tune in again okay that was right here okay yeah, give or take. You know, I certainly don't want it out there, but it's hard to get it out there anyway. Yeah. And I wouldn't really worry about exactly when it pops, to be honest. Okay, the so come on in. The, okay, Here. let me... Uh, Go ahead, the fire reason, away. The reason I'm asking that question mm -hmm. is I'm thinking about more distance, and I'm thinking about when it hit my maximum speed. Mm -hmm. And so here's what I'm going to say to you. You're getting way the hell ahead of yourself. Flare your feet, put your good hands on it. <laughs> Okay? Yes, sir. Yep, thank you. Good. And then do me a favor. All we're going to do here, pal, is take this. Here's the key to this. Can we create nice leverage? Because if we can't do this, it's not going to expand out. You with me? It's got to create leverage. You've got to be able to chop some wood from here with a bit of turn. Okay. Okay? So see if you can create some leverage. Flary feet, you look great. Okay? Wonderful. Okay? Now, my challenge for him would be this, balance and mobility, right? 
Your, when you go home, I'll give you a link for one of these. Okay, they're, okay. they're not cheap, they're a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. And, you know, can you do that and then find yourself? Yeah. Right? That would be wonderful for you to post in two months, yeah. two bands, yes. pop in and find in yourself like you stand there like a statue. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes. Sh show me another one. Wonderful. Okay, cool. So now that's a bit of a flat footed whapper, but I'm going to give you yes. a break. Okay. okay. At least it's expanding nicely. Yeah. Like I can go get the second band, right? Because yeah. I think you're ready for that already. Come on in. And I want you, do you see how there's a weight sliding down this, this yeah. shaft? That's a golf swing, man. So waggle, waggle. Good. Narrow, flurry stance. A little straighter legs. Good. A little taller, too. There you go. Good. Do it again. So here's what I see with you. Like, like let's let this, all three of you dudes, don't let your left foot go to the outside of your left heel. Okay? That would transport. You want that, to answer your question, you want that sound to be a little later? Before expansion makes a click, if we can get a little bit more rotated, which is a part of flaring and a part of letting the weight work across and onto the outside of our foot, we're transporting expansion a little differently. Okay, so flary foot, good, let it pop, hands look perfect. Wonderful. Now I'm gonna, sh so here's what I see with you, watch. Let me have this. When you watch this back, how about, watch my left leg. You know what I mean? See my left leg pushed a bit more? Flare the feet, guys, good. Let the weight work across the flat foot to the outside bit. That a boy. Good. Yes. Good. Wayne. Flary feet, Wayne. Narrow stance, buddy. Wonderful. Mid body hands. Awesome. Okay, do it again for me. Okay, good. Okay, so now we're gonna go, the, the same bed applies, guys. Hit a shot, it's a stronger shot now. Let it rebound in peace for a moment, and then holster it. None of this reaching back, grabbing a ball, okay? So now we're gonna add, all we're doing now is adding a bit more speed. Oh, Charlie, I'll give you your club back in a sec. All we're doing is adding a bit more speed. Okay, is this, yeah, be my, that camera, yeah. Okay, you're good. So now you're good, it's just, Think about this, guys. We're letting this weight stack shoot down. If we can shoot down, am I like this? Heck no. Right? I want this to expand and be as long as my physicality can let it be. I don't want it to drag a handle, rake my elbows apart, right? So now as you kind of walk in here and, you know, walk in with the same goody stuff, aim the face, take a look, set your feet, take a look. See, I have a radius, tap, tap. Here's that weight stack working down, expanding. Might kill that poor guy. Okay, it's short. You get my point, guys? See the peaceful expansion? That's why when you watch some guys, you're like, why is he hit, how's he hit us so far? Doesn't look like he's working that hard. They're just more efficiently working. There's not stuff going every which way that, that doesn't matter. Okay, so you can see here's expansion. Easy with an ax and a, you know, splitting logs. Creating it here, letting it expand. Nice and long. Slows down in style. Rebounds, holsters. All right, boys, bet's still on. Let's go, a few more minutes. You just gotta flare your feet, my man. I know you feel it balanced like this at it statically, okay? but you'll get more comfortable. I know this feels weird to you, yeah. but I need you to be able to get there more. Okay? I will get there. Yeah. Okay, let's see who's gonna owe everybody a data. Expand, rebound, holster, flary feet. You guys look fantastic.
Really good. Flipping great. Careful, Charlie, you don't bonk yourself. Hold, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, Wayne. Really nice, bud. That last one was really good, T. Thank you. Yep. Only thing I'm going to say to you, D's, when I look at the group, mm -hmm. okay, from my, my perspective over there, I still kind of see you like, yeah, I feel that. you know what I mean? And so it's going to feel like if you hold the golf club kind of on your belt buckle, this would be an exaggeration, you know what I mean, of mid-body hands, rather than starting too much over here. Now, you're going to get to there, but you're going to get to there because the weight of the club is going to flex you back a bit. But, like, get the feeling of, come on over, look over my shoulder here a bit. So see how my left hand's bent back, and the club's mid-body. So there's a mild bend back there, mid-body hands. And so as I tip that over, you know, that's what my, my hands would be visually between my feet, not, like, outside my left toe. Okay. But yet when I go to hit one, you know, the dynamics will kind of make that happen, okay? okay? Hold that thing in your belt buckle. Kind of reach down there longer with your arms. That would be a bit more bent back you feel that mm -hmm. beautiful man okay right. that's a good little thing for you for all you guys flary feet there beautiful take one more look and then go and holster good so you flat-footed whapper doesn't get the circle far enough yeah. to hit it yeah. Flurry feet, guys. Let the club expand. Let it rebound. And let it holster. Ooh, look at Wayne. Who's that guy? Look at you guys. Looks like golf, fellas. Looks like golf. Yeah, question. Fire. Yeah. You're still way over here, you know, so here, here's the, the reality of it. There's a vertical face, okay? You're just not used to kind of, like, there's my club up the corner of that building. It's not shut, it's not open, you know, you with me? And just because you're just, you just don't know how to organize your big arm and wrist yet. So this is an adjusted address position. If I relax this, where's the face point? Way left. You see that? Way left? But when it's loaded with pivot, where's the face point? Oh. See what I'm saying? Straighter, right? Mm -hmm. So see how this is a contrived address position that good players do to, per, to have more balance in how they start. So when they arrive, they're in this dynamic position. You can't set up sort of an impact because impact's too, okay. it's too much in motion. So just fight that for right now. Right. right? And you might use a second stick so you can see a T. Right. So you're certain about your ball location and you're certain about your face. Right, and the face has, honestly, there's players that are great that start off a little open and a little shot. Okay. But who cares as long as they arrive back square. Okay. Good. I'm trying to see if anybody owes anybody money yet, but I, you guys are doing great. Good. So guys, come on back here now. Let me save this. Let's have a little contest. We'll use uh, D's spot. Okay, D's, your turn. We're gonna observe you. Go ahead. One ball, one ball each at that at Tom's spot. Let's see how he does. Come on over, Charlie. Let's be coaches here. Let's see his uh, little practice swing. Dude, that is so stupid good from what I saw yesterday. Yeah. Unbelievable. Because the, the, yesterday was rather spastic. That looked like golf. My only comment would be maybe ball location was a bit back from my eye, but that's okay. OK, 
Okay, ball location just basically doesn't necessarily affect trajectory as much as it does start direction. So when you when a ball is back on your off your right foot, everybody thinks it's going to go low. Not it's just going to start more right. Okay, people who want to hit draws play the ball a little further back. If you want to hit a fade, play it a bit more forward. Because if it's a bit more forward, it doesn't mean you're going to hit it high. It means you got to hit it down and left. See what I mean? Right? Forward ball location is a downward leftward delivery. Back ball location is an in to out delivery. There's happy mediums in there and you can play around with that. My only comment, right? So that was an freaking amazing. Charlie, that was a good, he set the bar high, okay? It looked nice too, didn't it? Yeah. Yesterday it didn't look nice, dude. That was great. So I wouldn't have changed the thing. Practice swing everything. I didn't pick you because I knew you'd do it right either. Okay, great try. Paul squirted out, the only comments would be this. A little pushy shot, right? I, you're gonna be so much better playing from a narrow stance right away, you're gonna be blown away. Because you don't have as much, you know, yeah, you're just gonna be, you have this anyway, I just don't want it going too far, okay? So the only thing I'd say to you is that you went back to sort of this, if you look at, I'll say this, if you looked at a bunch of tour players hitting nine iron, you wouldn't see one of them take a club back to parallel. There would be the top of their golf swing. Oh, oh yeah, it never goes parallel. The only time it, you see a club even get remotely close to parallel is because a driver's longer, it's got more mass in it, and it might carry, it might stretch them farther. But a nine iron never goes there. Yes, so when you, well, your practice swings certainly looked, okay, so your mindful practice swings might be a little bit more, yeah, just, if you watched the Tiger video I posted in your space, you're going to see him at Pebble when he won by 15. His practice swings look like this. Now, did he hit it with that swing? No. He let it speed up and he hit it harder. He just let it incrementally get faster. But it didn't go, you see my point? So see how you can kind of create it's almost like I want to put you in a swimming pool, and the only thing out of the swimming pool is your nose, so that your sh the shaft has to fight the water a bit. And once it crests the water up here, and the club's sticking out, you're good. And go through the other side. Okay, but it looked nice. Okay, so Wayne, come on in. Okay, show me. Okay, so Wayne, I'm gonna start with you right away. Since since you're Mr. Tippy guy, okay. okay. Now narrow the stance a bit, mid-body hands for me, please. Perfect, club off the ground, good. Okay, you're gonna feel, make a bit of a backswing, okay, that your left shoulder can get a little bit more, you know, towards your right foot, rather than your left shoulder going down your left side. Okay. So this is my shoulder going down my side, here's my shoulder going closer to my right foot. So give me a practice swing where your your left shoulder, and do it slow, just like I did with Charlie. Make your left shoulder go more towards your left, there you go, and then swoosh. Beautiful, done. Now stand on your, stand there for a second. Good. Ridiculous. So good. Okay. All right, two star. Yeah. When you're doing your practice swing. Yeah. Then you stop. Take a. And look at the line. Hell yeah! Look at the ball. Look at. Always. No, I take. I it just a half a tick. Just focus, man. Yeah. Let me get you. Do that one more time, T, and let's see if we can't flare that left foot more. 
and see if we can't carry yourself onto your left. There you go. Now this might be hard work for you after you know trying to figure this injury out, right? It's okay. You know, I know it's okay. You're not going to complain. But so when you do that, do me a favor. Get even more flurry. Okay. Give me another practice swing. See if you can absorb yourself into your left foot a little bit more. Wonderful. Good. Now take a half a tick right here. No, so, yeah. So come on over. And just take a so. And so watch. Here's all. Watch me. This is just what I was saying to Charlie. Stand right here. Okay. okay. So watch my practice swing. Am I trying to rip it, guys, in my practice swing? No, I'm just feeling, man, internalizing, okay? I'm going to speed it up a bit, okay? Now, once I take that peaceful practice swing, feel that expansion, what am I doing for just uh, one 1,000? I'm standing on my line, man. I'm making a commitment. I'm, I'm done thinking. Now I'm into performance, okay? That's why I want you taking this half second, because now it's go time. See if you're a pussy or not. I mean it. Perform or don't. It's up to you. Doesn't mean you'll hit a good shot, but just perform. Now it's time. You've warmed it up a bit. You made your choice. Perfect. Now you're going to stand here and go, okay, that's what I'm going to do. Let's go. Okay? You take that little moment of commitment before you walk in. That's your point. You see what I'm saying? Beautiful, T. Gorgeous, man. See his left foot, guys? Okay, his left foot went like this. Beautiful, okay? It wasn't a flat-footed whap. Okay, that's fantastic. Now, let me, let me explain some to you. You guys wouldn't practice like this. Therefore, you're not going to get any better. You're going to go to the range and smash, 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 smash. Hey, I hit a good one. Smash, smash, smash. Get frustrated. Oh, but how about you went and did 15 minutes of that? You see my point? Yeah. Way more peaceful, way more sense of rhythm. You can always heat it up a bit. Mm -hmm. You can always let the thing expand a little more. You know what I mean? It, it, but what you just did there, like that episode, you guys did fantastic. Dude, it helps everything. I've watched you everything you've done and I've been the thing I've tried to replicate is the tempo I okay. just learned how to do it good okay good I just learned how to do that I, I see it now good and part of it is you got, like how you slow down dictates your tempo too right if you run into too much resistance flat-footed everything's got to flash p past you right rather than kind of work together and that's why like and now you can, guys it's not about quote hitting hard it's about you know, hitting it more solid. Yeah, right? And so see how you all did that? that was, you guys did fantastic. That's how you practice. Put a ball in place. Like, practice isn't about, like, the quantity of balls. It's the quality of balls. And, and it's like, you, you talk to any player, they'll say, yeah, it's just as important, the practice swing, before you walk into the shot, your commitment to the shot, whatever the outcome is. Can you feel the expansion and the rhythm of the thing? Can you do it with your eyes closed? Because you kind of should. You want to you wanna see how your feet really feel? Your eyes have a big part to do with your, how your feet grab the ground. But when you can close your eyes and do it, then you'll really kind of go, oh boy, here's where I'm going. Right? So say you said, and I tell everybody, and we'll tell everybody this later, practice should be a specific amount of time. It shouldn't be nebulous. It should be like, okay, I'm going to do this exercise for 10 minutes. Then I'm going to do this for five. And then I'm going to do this for 10. And then I'm done. Go have water, go putt. Right? Like, don't just hit till you're exhausted and frustrated. Just practice it. Like, like this little exercise would be great. 
and do it for a certain amount of time or a playlist. If you like listen to music, this is three songs, this is two songs, and I'm done. Okay? That's how you practice. You hit shots soft, you commit to here, you hit let it let it flee a little harder, you'll you'll feel it speed up more, slow down in style, and then holster. And you'll see how you can be fast without being out of position. Does that make sense, guys? Cool. Hey gang, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Remember, hit the like button. If you're not a member, click subscribe and share it with your friends. And don't forget, we've got a lot of elevated, awesome content at TS+. You can check out that link below.